the breast show in late night television. <laughs> My eyes will never close again. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> My next guest is a great author. His latest book, Getting Off, <laughs> is in stores now. Please welcome my friend Lawrence Block, everybody. Lawrence Block. All right. Good. <laughs> Good. I'm very glad that you allowed me to contribute to the conversation there. And I'm very glad you, the, that you're not wearing anything low cut. No, no, I had... That was my first choice, but... I'm always happy to see you on this show, but I never, ever want you to wear anything low cut, ever. All right. On the show or anywhere else. All right. All right. I think it's undignified for a writer of your magnitude. Okay. That's a big word. It's a, it's a damn word. Do you ever use word. that word, magnitude? No, but I've seen it. Right. <laughs> now, here's a copy of your... A copy of your now, we had to pre-pixelate uh, this, uh, <laughs> this ass here. Apparently, we're, we're spending all our money on pixelation over my mouth. So we're now... Ple I've got this book at home. The, the, uh, you can see the ass in the dagger. Yes, you can. you yeah. can. Is that you there? Uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, man, this is an older book, though, isn't it? Have no, it no, no, brand new. Really? Yep, yep. But you wrote this book as Jill Emerson. That's right. Now, Jill Emerson is my inner lesbian. <laughs> Definitely a rustling of... There was a rustling of plaid over there. Yeah. The, uh... <clears throat> So, wait, no, wait, is this a, it's just a design thing? It's just a kind of uh, affectation you're writing as Juliet? No. Or do you write in character? I've, I've written uh, o over the years about seven other books as Jill Emerson. I see. And uh, this one just felt right. And it was also to set it apart a little from some of the other books because, as you may have noticed, this has a rather intense erotic content. Yes, it does. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's the kind of book people are reading on Ryanair. I was just... Yeah. <laughs> They've just acquired film rights to it. Really? Are you yes, serious? Yes, Phil, uh, Ryan Air has. Ryan Air has. Yes. I, um, no, I, I, so when you write as Jill Emerson, do you dress as Jill Emerson? Do you think, well, today I'm going to write as Jill Emerson, time for something low cut? That's an awfully personal question. <laughs> You're the one that walked out here with your breasts out. Well, no. <laughs> No, 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 you're that not. Was the other well, one. I can't get it out of my eye. <laughs> it's seared onto my retina. See, when you see a woman who's, who's got a, wearing a very low-cut, revealing dress, did you pixelate her? I, I don't know. Did we? <laughs> no, no, we didn't. No, yeah, I think it's only it's only only, uh, only out of book. Only well, out of book. I think what it is is uh, asses are more dangerous than breasts. <laughs> really? Well, asses are near the uh, um, uh, the you know the big the big. <laughs> But asses, asses are too to the close. Ground. Yeah, they're, they're they're kind of near the the the, uh, the treasure, yeah, if you as it were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 yeah, or magnitude even. Yes, I, uh, yeah. No, I uh, I think that we have asses are a problem because they are you know they're they're active, whereas breasts. <laughs> You're helping me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just... I'm, anyway, this is... Wow, what the hell is this on the back of the book? That isn't Jill Emerson. No. No. Well, you, you look positively evil there. Do I really? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you look... Yeah. Uh, you know what you look a little bit like? You're a little bit Sean Connery-ish, actually. It's pretty good. Oh. Yeah, yeah, a little bit kind of... Yeah, sure, I'm Jill Emerson. <laughs> So what have you been up to? Have you been doing the speed walking or the marathons? Or no, no, you do that. No, I've been I've been eating a lot, gaining weight, and sitting around. Ah, <laughs> talking my language. That's an event I excel in. What are you watching on the TV? I know you like to watch on the TV. What are you doing? Any big shows? No. Really? You usually are the one that says no. You must watch this, and it's kind of like Dexter or uh, what's that one you like on CBS? Crime, Criminal Minds. Yeah. I, yeah, you like I, that? that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not enough asses in it for you, eh? Is that it? You know what I've mostly been doing? What? I've, I've been making a complete hash of this retirement that I 
Which, yeah, you, I remember you told me you were going to retire about two years ago, three years that's ago. That's right. That's yeah. right, I was. How many books have you written since you retired? Well, this year I have six that came out. Yeah. That, that's... You just flat out lied then about the retirement, didn't you? I didn't lie. I had every intention. I just couldn't do it. I, w I was rotten at it. Well, it's okay. You don't have to retire if you're a writer. You can just uh, keep writing until you pop your clogs. I you know. Suppose. I mean, <laughs> I mean and, then, and even then, you just write the, very, you just write the end. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> that way you can make sure no one else finishes off your novel for you, if you know what I mean. I even self-published a book this year. I what? Think. Yes, I think you have it over there. Oh, do I? <laughs> Coincidentally, no, you're really getting the hang of this right talk show game, Larry. Right yeah. Harmonica. Yes, I think you have it over there. Uh, you self-published this? I did. Uh, wait a minute, that looks like Jill Emerson on the back there. <laughs> now, what did, why did you self-publish this? Oh, this is, uh, this is Matt Scudder's stories. That's, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's right. I love Matt. Matt Scudder's the private detective character you write about who, in New York. The one you're so fond of? I'm actually, very fond yes. of Matt Scudder, yeah. Now, you started Now, writing. see, what, what? I would say, of course, this is just my perspective, that this is the obscene cover. What, with the picture of the scotch? Yes, that, that's... I, I mean, I presume it's scotch or just a very uh, well-dressed urine sample. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Do you have a urine sample with ice? Sometimes the distinction is... A, an yeah. Yes. It's only a matter of time, yes. really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, that, when you think about it, that is a very small bottle of scotch next to that. Maybe that's me. I, I... When I see a bottle of scotch, I think, too small, need a yes. bigger one. Yes, yeah. one, one doesn't want them. That's, but it's a good-sized glass. You've got to give it Well, uh, maybe the glass is closer to you than the bottle. It always is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, there you are, then. So what do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, touch my glittery ball, touch the... Oh, do you want to go for the money? I want to go for the yeah, money. Yeah, I thought you would, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's 50 bucks you could win here. That's, uh, you could self-publish a, well, a leaflet. Yes, you put, easily. You could put out a leaflet. I could. Now, what kind of leaflet would you put out? A dirty one. Sexual Positions by Jill Emerson. <laughs> Is that... Wait, wait. That what does that even mean? I have no idea. <laughs> huh? And then they were like, oh, yeah, good one, Larry. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, did you say hi to Odd Jeff? Hi, Jeff. Hi, Larry. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> what the hell? Is there something going on I should know about here? We're old friends. Yeah. We've... We get together off camera. <laughs> It's none of anybody's business. All right, really. okay, fair enough. <laughs> Fifty dollars in singles. All right. Um, <laughs> all right, here you are. Mm-hmm. I see. You know, I'm going through... The, I'm learning things at the same time. All right, Larry. Uh, uh, educational TV. To, for me, it is. Yes, yeah. for all of us. All right. Um, let's see. Um... Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Which activity burns more calories, sleeping or watching TV? What I do know... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, all right. It, there, are, there are slightly over 300,000 people living in Iceland. And yeah, they yeah, are, that's not going to help you here. They are all descended from five Viking men and four Irish women. Did you know that? <laughs> I just I think learned I may it. Maybe not that part. I, I just learned it yesterday. Really? Is that true? Yes. Well, I, I, it's so wonderful. It hardly matters if it's true. Well, that's true. Yeah. But but it's purported to be true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that that would explain Bjork, I suppose, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll dress as a swan to the Oscars. Yes. Yeah. I was I was going to do that. Yeah. Do you ever dress as a swan when you're writing as Jill Emerson? <laughs> I don't know, but I might. Yeah. 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 Anyway, you're going to answer the damn yes, question? Yes, yes, I am. Right. Uh, More calories. Uh, uh, sleeping. It's correct! It is correct! Tickles $50, self-publish a leaflet. Larry Block, everybody, wherever.